Thanks for joining us everyone for our college visit series. We're very excited to have Emily Gant with us with Hampton Sydney College. Thanks for joining us today, Ms. Gant. Thank you. So if you guys are ready, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, so my name again is Emily. I am the recruiter for the Richmond area, Northern Neck area, and then Pennsylvania area as well uh, for Hampton Sydney College. I'll give you a little bit of background on Hamden City, and then we've actually got a student here with us on the call today. Uh, so I'd love to have some questions and, you know, any type of engagement. We can talk about anything that I maybe did touch on or did not touch on uh, that you'd like me to expand upon. Uh, so really excited to be here, even though it's virtual with you guys today. Um, Hamden, Sydney, I've only been with for about a month now, but I was born and raised in Farmville. So my experience with Hamden, Sydney has been basically my entire lifetime. Um, my, you know, experience now has just gotten a little bit deeper. Uh, so I'm really excited to be working for them. They're, uh, we are a small liberal arts institution uh, located in Farmville, Virginia. So if you're not sure where Farmville is, uh, we're about an hour and a half-ish from the Ashland, uh, you know, area, Hanover County. Um, super quick and easy drive. Our student population is about a thousand students. And then we've got a campus that sprawls over 1300 oh, ish acres. So we've got more acreage than we actually do students, uh, which is really nice, gorgeous campus. We would love to get you guys down for a visit. Um, your average class size here is gonna be about 10 to 15 students. Your student to faculty ratio is 10 to one. So what does that mean? You know, It means that your professors, your faculty staff, your academic advisors, they know you very well, they care about you. They're a huge level of support for you. Um, you are not just a name or a face in a sea of students uh, in a massive lecture hall. You know, you're sitting around what look like what could look like a dining room table um, with 10 or 12 of your classmates, and you're really, really engaging uh, in all of your class, you know, class experiences. I will point out, uh, and I actually need to get in the habit of pointing this out because uh, I assume everybody knows, but uh, we are an all-male institution. So one of the very few left in the country. Um, so that makes us very, very unique in a way that, you know, we're, we're completely male. Um, so I do want to point that out just in case, because again, I think everybody knows, uh, and then I'll have people say, oh, okay, my daughter might be interested in like, whoop, all male. So, um, you know, small population, Farmville, Virginia, all male. Those are very unique traits about, about Hampton City College. Um, we got to go out, we have about 27 majors and 27 minors for you guys to pick from. Uh, and over 50 different clubs and organizations. I'm actually going to get out what I have. It's called a swagalog. Uh, you may see these on the road uh, in our college fairs. And when you come to visit campus, we do different editions. So yeah, this one has a shark on it. Last one had a huge octopus. These are catalogs that we give to our students and families. Um, and basically, they're a really great way to uh, get an idea of what Hamden Sydney has to offer inside of the classroom, outside of the classroom, socially, academically. Um, so if you're ever interested, please let me know, reach out to me. I'd be happy to mail you guys a few of these since I'm not actually in your school physically right now. Um, you know, if you can't come to campus to visit and, and grab one yourself, I'm happy to uh, mail any of these to your homes at any point. They're really great reads. Um, we talk about the different unique programs that we have on campus, like our rhetoric program. Our rhetoric program is something really unique where every student takes three rhetoric courses. They focus on communication, uh, per particularly persuasive communication, reading, writing, uh, speaking, things like that. Um, and at the end of those three courses, you take what we call an RPE, rhetoric proficiency exam. Um, and every student goes through the process and every student takes the exam. So it's got fun facts like that. Uh, we've got stories about what our alumni are doing, like Kirk Zambetti, who's the senior VP of sales for Yeti, um, what our professors are doing on campus in terms of big research in cancer immunotherapy. Um, lots and lots of really great information in these. So we'd love to have you to campus to come visit and then grab one. Uh, or again, happy to send these to you myself. Um, I'm trying to think of other things to touch on that maybe would apply to the whole general population before um, I start talking directly to the student that's that's on here. Um, if you're interested in athletics, we're a D3 school uh, for things like baseball, soccer, basketball, football is our really big sport, rugby, lacrosse, golf, um, but then we have club sports as well. So you've got uh, other things like disc golf and club golf and you know things on a club level if you're not interested in playing sports on the D3 level. Uh, all of our coaches' information is in the catalog as well. But again, if you'd like to reach out to me, I can give you the coaches' information directly. 
for anything that you're interested in athletically. When it comes to other ways to get involved on campus, you know, you've got our student senate that you could get involved in. You've got um, the Garnet and Gray guys, which basically are our student ambassadors who give all of our tours. And so there are a lot of opportunities in and outside of the classroom. Um, some other unique things that I'll touch on that may stand out to you and, you know, this little elevator speech for him in Sydney uh, are our centers on campus. So we've got three different centers, I guess. You've got the Wilson Leadership Center that focuses on the collaboration between education and leadership. Um, you've got the Ferguson Career Center. And basically they help you with everything from internship placement to resume building, mock interviews, uh, career moves. That's what they do. And then you've got our um, Fleming uh, Entrepreneurship Center. Basically what this is, is this is for students who want to do their own thing. You know, if you decide, I don't want to work for somebody else, I want to work for myself. And you've got an idea that you'd like to bring to life. That's what that center is for here, right on campus, uh, accessible to all of our students. And they basically teach you, if anyone's ever seen the show, a Shark Tank, it's a lot like that. So you come in with the idea, they help you with the implementation, the development, the execution, all the above. They actually bring in people to help you every step of the way. Uh, so basically, if you're completely unaware of how to make this happen yourself, they will walk you through it from, you know, day one uh, until you've gotten your company off the ground. Or if you've gotten a little headway, uh, they're there for any advice, any tips, any support. Uh, it's something very different that you don't really see on a whole lot of campuses, especially a, a small campus like ours with only a thousand students. Those three centers are something really special that I like to touch on. Um, in my little elevator speeches that I do about Hampton Sydney, because depending on what you're interested in, whether that's working for yourself or getting a great job with the FBI, getting a great job with Johnson and Johnson, uh, or you want to be a leader in some aspect, you know, whether that's military after or police force, or you want to be a CEO, uh, whatever it is that you are looking at in terms of career goals, we have lots of lines of support on campus here for you. So that's something I really like to talk about and make sure that everyone's aware of. Uh, and again, if you come to campus and visit, you know, we can visit any or all three of the centers. Happy to connect you with any of the faculty, staff members that basically oversee all three of those programs. Um, if you'd like more in-depth information, I can email you information. I can mail you information, brochures on all of those. Um, when it comes to academics, if you are interested in sitting in on a class or connecting with a student, you know, I can connect you with a professor and an academic advisor, a current student, you know, in the pre-law area, if you're interested in pre-law or computer science, if you're interested in that area. Um, there are a lot of resources that I can give to you, even though we're technically virtual right now. I'm looking at you through a screen. Um, and even though I can't come to your campus at the moment, we're having visits all the time. Um, and again, I can mail or email you anything that you'd like. Happy to call, text you. Um, so we'll talk about visits and then we'll go into admissions materials and then I'll open it up to questions. So for visiting, again, come to campus at any point in time. If you'd like to do a campus tour, most likely because I'm your, your counselor, I would be the one giving you the tour unless I, I needed somebody else to step in. Um, if you'd like to meet with a professor and or sit in on a class while you're on campus, we coordinate all of that for you and we make that happen. If you'd like to eat while you're on campus, we've got the dining hall and then we've got the Tiger Inn. So it's very important that you try the food anywhere that you're kind of considering uh, to get that full experience. We'll feed you lunch. Um, and then if you'd like to stay overnight, we have overnight visits available as well. So we pair you with a student and basically you get the full experience. You know, you can do the tour, the class eating, meet with a professor or somebody from one of those three centers I mentioned, and then spend the night to see what they do during the day and during the evening. You know, you'll see the academic side, the social side, the athletic side, the clubs and organizations, whatever that student is uh, involved in or whatever you'd like to kind of see, we can give you as much or as uh, little of a view of campus as you'd like. For my seniors, so anyone who's a current senior, we have preview days. Preview days take place on all of our home game dates basically like an open house. And what happens is you come to campus, um, we give you a tour, we connect you with some faculty and staff members, we feed you, which is always fun. Uh, and then you get to come to the football tailgate with us. We have an admissions tent set up, lots of free swag, t-shirts, things like that. Uh, and then the day is yours after that. Whether you'd like to hang out, go to the campus store, meet with somebody else, or just head home, totally up to you. Uh, so those are specifically for my seniors. And again, they fall on every home game. So there are five total. We've just had two. Uh, and so you have three more of those dates that you can sign up for. We'd love to have you. Um, let's talk admissions. So for admissions, we are a part of the common application. So if you're filling that out, know that Hampton City participates in that as well. 
we've got four deadlines. We've got early decision. Early decision is basically you are committing to Hampton Sydney at the time of applying. Uh, it's for students who basically know Hampton Sydney is where I want to be. Okay. Then you've got two early action deadlines. Uh, and for all of these, we try to get you your decision before the, the holidays. Um, and then you've got regular admission or regular decision, which takes place in January. Uh, so I really push the early decision or early action deadlines the most. Early action are basically for my students who want to get ahead of the game, who want to get a leg up, but you're not sure that you want to fully commit to Hampton City yet. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you will get your decision quicker, you know. I will let you know that you get your financial aid package along with your acceptance letter uh, if you are accepted. So basically what will happen is you'll fill out the FAFSA, send us that information. And then when you send us your application, we can send you your admissions packet and your financial aid packet at the same time uh, so that you know where you stand with us both, you know, academically, whether or not you've been admitted and then financially. So that, you know, if you decide, you know, I'd like to go to Hampton City, you can start to talk with your family about what is financially feasible. What can we offer you in terms of grants, loans, scholarships? Because um, that, that's a big piece of it too, is the financial part. Let's talk about standardized tests. So for SATs and ACTs, they're not required. We are technically test optional. And what that means is you can either submit an SAT or ACT with your application uh, and a letter of recommendation in your college essay. Or if you cannot submit an SAT or ACT, um, we have an interview process in which you will either come to campus or we can do it virtually. Uh, and you'll, you'll do a short little interview with somebody on the admission staff um, as a part of your application process in, you know, in place of your, your standardized test scores. So you can either submit those or go for the interview option. Either way, um, you will not be penalized for not having your, your SAT or ACT scores. Um, so that's about all I have for the admissions portion. Um, now I'm going to open it up because again, we have a student that has joined us here and I'm very, very thankful that you've taken the time to come and listen to us. Uh, and I'd love to hear what questions you have. Uh, they could be about residential life, academic life, social life, uh, offerings outside of the classroom, Farmville in general. Uh, it could be about just about anything, whether I have touched on that particular area or not, I'll definitely do that for you. And that goes for anybody who's watching this recording. Um, if you want more information on a major, or if you want to talk to somebody who maybe went to your high school, uh, like I've got a guy who I use as a connection who went to Patrick Henry. He was like, I'd be happy to talk to anybody in the Hanover area about my experience, about the location, about, you know, why I chose Hampton City. Um, always absolutely use me as a resource. But the guys who are living here, I mean, they're living the life that you'll essentially be living if you choose to be a Hampton City Tiger. Um, so please don't be afraid to reach out to me and say, hey, do you have anybody in the business program that would be willing to talk to me? Or do you have anybody that's on the golf team that would be willing to talk to me? Because uh, these guys are great. They're amazing. I approached all of them our past preview day uh, at the Hampton City tailgate, and I got their information. Um, they'll be traveling with me to Richmond a little bit for our uh, after hours events, too. Um, and, and again, they're just great resources. And they're all from different areas. So no matter what you're interested in, whether that's the honor society, a fraternity, a major, a sport, whatever it is, call me, email me, text me and say, hey, do you have a guy in this area? I will find one for you and I'll connect you. Um, because again, they do a really, really great job of uh, being resources for me. And I know that they'll be able to talk to you in pretty great detail about what they do here at, uh, at Hampton City. So thank you for asking those questions. I love that you were engaging. Experience with Hampton City, you all seem so personable. And like, I even remember reading, you know, students acceptance letters and they're just, they're very personable to them. And it's just very impressive even, you know? Um, and so it, I guess just from that standpoint, is there anything that somebody, a student that's interested in applying there that you would like, this is one thing I would recommend you doing if you're really interested to demonstrate your interest and show us, you know, that you really want to go here. Is there any one thing that they should do or that you would recommend Ms. Camp? Mm -hmm. engage with the community. So come to campus if at all possible. And again, if you can't visit on a weekday, we will still try and do our best to, to maybe come in on a weekend if we have somebody available. It's, it's rare, but again, that just shows you, even though we don't work on the weekends, we really, really try and accommodate you guys, you know, as best we can. That's why we have these events on the weekends, because, you know, I know that you guys can't always get out of class or your parents can't get off work, whoever it is, um, but engage with us email us, call us, spend time on campus. We, again, we have no problem putting you in a class. We have no problem connecting you with a student, connecting you with a professor. Everyone is so willing to meet you where you are. So don't be afraid to ask for those things. 
Uh, and that really shows us your interest in Hampton City. And, and Hampton City is a place where you can't hide. You know, it's, it's a thousand students. You're going to know people. You're going to engage with people. You are going to socialize. Um, so doing that from, from the beginning, it, it speaks volumes. Um, and really, it helps us get to know you as a student so that we can fight for you in the admissions process. Um, so that's the one thing that I would say, if you're interested in us, show, the, show us that through engagement, you know come hang out with us, talk to us, um, be open to meeting people uh, and engaging with those who are already on campus because they will literally bend over backwards, you know, to make their schedules work for you, to make, um, you know, room for you in a class, to make time for you in between meetings, you know, whatever it is, if you ask for it, we will do our best to provide for you. And that is the, the, the vibe here. Everyone is so personable. Within a month, I have met hundreds of people and they all treat me as if they've known me for years. And that's something that, you don't experience a lot of places. Mm -hmm. That's ever. special. Yeah. It makes you feel like family. And I had a student who works for us in our office and he was like, you're going to use this tagline all the time. So you might as well just, you know, give me credit and quote me. Um, his name is Benjamin Scott Teachy, And I call him Teach. Everyone else calls him Teachy. Um, he used the line only at Hampton City. He's like, you'll see things, you'll experience things, you will talk to people, you'll be made to feel a certain way that's really hard to describe and really special feeling um, that you'll say it all the time. And I do. I've only been here again a month and I've probably said it 20 times only in Hampton, Sydney. Would you find, you know, an alumni welcoming us into their home to have prospective students over to talk about, you know, why they should consider Hampton, Sydney. Only in Hampton, Sydney, would you find, you know, the president, Dr. Stemper, walking around, talking to the students, eating with them in the dining hall, having them over for a big ice cream social, um, there are things that happen on this campus that are so special and unique and personable. Yeah, only him. That's awesome. So engage with us. Be a part of it. We want you to see it so bad. We want you to see it and experience it yourself because that's how you'll know whether or not we're going to be a good fit for you. So, Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. And you said the overnights and everything, are y'all still doing that um, during COVID and everything's okay mm -hmm. still? Okay. Yep. So we've got, you know, the mask mandates in the building. Uh, whether you're vaccinated or not right now. Um, but yeah, you know, we want you to be able to experience Hampton Sydney as intricately as possible because it's hard to imagine yourself on a campus if you don't get there. So yeah, yep. That's awesome. Whatever you want to do, we'll make it happen. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions? No. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a wealth of information and I know our students are are going to be, you know, reaching out to you to, to help set up some of these resources you've been talking about. So thank you for that. Um, and students, please make sure you're taking advantage of our representatives, our resources that they're offering to us, because that's wonderful. So much for having me. This is